Welcome back to Broken Age Act 2. The last time I was able to get the old stick, or the <laughs> rather the stick from the old man, by giving him a cupcake that was defrosted, and in exchange he gave me the stick. And next thing I'm going to do is I'm going to fight the children at the tree, not the talking tree, but the one in the clouds, with this stick. So let's go. Uh, what do I think about Broken Age Act 2? Uh, up till now, I'm not sure. Um, I know it's a Kickstarter project, but I'm not too much impressed by it. I wasn't much impressed by Act 1. At least it, was, it is a good adventure game, but it's not groundbreaking or something. And the puzzles are quite illogical sometimes, but. Yeah, the story has a good vibe, it has some nice characters and, you know, it's fluffy, fluffy graphics and stuff. So, yeah, I'm having a good time, but it's not like a revolutionary adventure game or something that you've come to expect from Tim Schafer, maybe. maybe Whoops, no, get back on the path. Let's fight you. On guard, Druids. Okay, yarn boy. Enough is enough. <laughs> You're lucky she's blind, kid. I didn't miss him because I'm blind, Courtney. I missed him because I can see. I've been I've been pretending to be blind all these years. <gasps> I never really had the faith like you, Courtney. But I don't have the faith, Dawn. I was pretending too, so I could be like you. What? You're not blind? No. In fact, I've been stealing and selling artifacts from the pyramid to save up money to get out of this town. M me too! I would have left long ago, but I didn't want to leave you here. I know how much being a dead-eyed druid meant to you. I haven't wanted to be a druid for years. I want to go to school and study hotel management. I want to study graphic design and start a band. Let's do it. Let's just go. Right now? Right now. But what about our quest to find something to believe in? I did. How about you? what I get for learning defense with candy canes. Wow, that was weird. I fought them and they turned out to be not blind and then two naked girls, you know, went up with the bird onto the horizon to study, I guess. Anyway, they left the ropes. Don't know what I... Oh, I can use them for the, uh, the contest loser. Uh, Alright, let's pick them up. Better take these before those druids get cold and come back. Now I've got those two robes. There's printing inside these robes. It says, these curtains to remain closed during radiation storms. Hmm. Alright, so let's head back to the girl and... Hmm. Vela's mother. What was her name again? I'm not sure. I'm so bad with names. You know, I know the, uh, the names of the main characters, but... All the other ones, I keep forgetting them. And it's not because they are forgettable. Oh, I'm going the wrong way. But you know, I'm just lousy at remembering them. Alright, down we go. Ladies, I've got some robes. Can you use them? Ah, never seen this kind of material before. Can you sew it? Shouldn't be a problem. That's the spirit. Well, only one thing to do now. Twyla! Don't worry! I'll be right back! Come on, Vera! Oh, Whew. I thought my teenager was dramatic. <laughs> Great! But what's with all the feathers? Just because.
because I was working off a pattern doesn't mean I can't inject a little personal style, does it? Dear, you are an incredible talent. Now I've got a suit. It's a little more feathery than the radiation suits I'm used to, but the tailoring is amazing. I guess I need to bring uh, to bring the suit back to Alex. So that's what I'm going to do. I'm not sure about the rest though. I need a pencil for the woman downstairs that is fishing. And she will give me a picture of knots. So I can untie the knot with a lightened beard. What was his name again? Your feather. Because I haven't untied the knot. Alright, let's go down. And I'm assuming something needs to be done with Curtis as well. Hello. But what? There's this kitten that is quite curious. I can't wrap my hand around it yet. Home metallurgy kit. Make my Hmm. I'll come back later to this. And of course there's the snake. I'm not sure if I have to do something with that. And the talking tree. Does he have a role in it? Yeah, you. Not yet, I think. Alright, let's continue. And then there is the guy with the thing choking in his, uh, in his throat. Something stuck there. I'm not sure what to do with him yet. So that's going to be interesting. Alex, I've got a... Uh, a suit? Hey, I got a radiation suit. Great. Hey, uh, what's up with all the feathers? Extra protection. Recent tech advancement. You don't say. Well, I have been asleep for a long time. And what does he have behind his ear? I'm just recognizing it's a pencil. I need to have that, man. Yeah, the pencil. Can I borrow your space pencil? Uh, it's just a regular pencil, but okay. Haha, -ha, good work. So, while I'm here, let's ask what I need further. So, what else does your ship need to fly? Hmm, let me see here. Still need an electronics genius. And, Check. Uh, haven't found a superconductive gyroscopic hypercam yet. And gotta replace my heavy-duty anti-gravity thrust unit. Once we take care of that, we'll be ready to fly. On it. Okay. See you later. Okay. Okay, I'm not sure where to get all those items, but, you know, I've got a pencil now. <laughs> Man, pencils were so primitive in Alex's day. I mean, this thing only writes in two colors. Let's go to the fishing woman. See... Yeah, to see what she's drawing for me. In terms of the knot, maybe she can help me out. Hey, I found a pencil. Oh, great. Hand it over, honey. Now, what was I going to draw for you again? Oh, yeah. Untying knots. Hmm. I think I know that one. Here's a diagram. Follow those instructions exactly, or you'll have a totally different knot on your hands. Thanks. Does this give me the solution? This diagram is good for one thing. Untying me. Hmm. <laughs> so what the... What can I learn from this? Pluck it. Pick it and pluck it again. I'm not sure how it does... Now this helps me yet, but you know, what kind of knot is this? Uh, 
Uh, maybe I have to block it with one hand and then touch it with one finger and then with two fingers again. Alright, let's try it. He's still muttering. And back up again. <laughs> All right, Light and Beard. You must help me now. Mm. Up to the ladder. Now let's talk to the man. Hello? Yeah, describe that knot. Oops. Sir, could you try to describe that knot to me? Uh, I don't think so. Really. I guess that's the flower, so we need to pick it with two fingers. Let's try it. Let's give that knot another try, okay? Okay. Ah, the image is there. Oh, good. And I don't have to memorize it. And the options are different. Aha. Uh -huh. She loves me, she loves me not. That's a good one. Yeah. She loves me, she loves me not. Like this? Hey, that did something. Oh yeah. And then... Uh... Tickle the foot, I guess? Tickle the foot. Yep. That loosened up something. Somewhere, I think. Now we're talking. The last one is uh, unravel the sweater. Unravel the sweater. Huh? All right. Take that, Knot. I got it. Hey, get your mitts off that! What the heck? Avert your eyes. Further, get me a towel. Brother Lightbeard, what is all that? Off. I know it looks like a big hoarding junk pile, but you have to understand. I might need some of this stuff someday. But everything you said about lightness, I... I don't know what I believe. You get a line and I'll get a pole, honey. You get a line and oh, I'll get a this is bad. Hey, is that a heavy-duty anti-gravity thrust unit right there? I have no idea, but you're welcome to take it. What? No! That's mine! My likeness! As a matter of fact, is there any place you'd like it delivered? Yep, this came from my ship. Someone must have looted it while I was asleep. You sure you don't want to ride over the plague dam with us, Father? No. I need to go take care of Omni. Goodbye, space boys. That was weird. Yeah. I mean, it's nice to look young, but I'm obviously a grown man, right? So, what happened? Um, I guess Feather untied the knot and then the cloud of Lightbear was revealed and he's a hoarding, hoarding junk pile collector, I don't know, and a fish fell down. I think I have to find it. And then I got the anti-thrust gravity unit whatever so that's a good thing um, so what is left exactly so what else does your ship need to fly hmm let me see here still need an electronics genius and uh, haven't found a superconductive gyroscopic hypercam yet and once we take care of that we'll be ready to fly on it okay see you later okay so two things left. Um, first, I'm gonna try to find the the plate, the fish that fell down, and there the, the guy is still choking. Can I talk to you again? Hey, Carol. Oh, that's so nice to hear. Because I I untied the knot. Um, yeah, what about the wire? What was it again? Did you say you had wire? I have a bunch. 
But I'm using it all up trying to make these dang hooks. Well, good luck and good luck. Right, we need hooks. Alright. <laughs> There's something stuck in your tree or your branch is a tree. What is your name? Can I I can't reach it. Let's talk to the tree. Tree. Human. Yeah, about the fish. That fish up there in your branches. Can I have it? Sorry, I caught it. Until it falls from my branches, it's mine. That's the code of the trees. Really? Ah, I guess I have to make him laugh. First, let's pick this option. Oh, come on. You don't need that fish. I happen to think it brings an interesting asymmetry to my look. So back off. Uh, wanna hear a joke? Hey, wanna hear a joke? Ooh, is it a tree joke? <laughs> Alright, First National Tree Bank. Why didn't the acorn want to go to the opera? Did you hear about little Sammy Saw? And penguins Christmas trees. Let's try the second one. With the acorn. Why didn't the acorn want to go to the opera? I don't know. Why didn't the acorn want to go to the opera? <laughs> Those are not tree jokes. The coffee is terrible. Doesn't make sense. They have free cookies there. Doesn't make any sense. It closed down. It's kind of lame. I heard they wanted to see time fly. Let's try that. I heard they wanted to see time fly. I don't get it. Well, it's more of an absurdist anti-joke, really. Uh, huh. Let's try it again. Okay, let me try another joke. Uh, okay. Ooh, there's a replacement. No Oaks policy. They all, they're all new, but one. Yeah, what did the stump say to the axe? What did the stump say to the axe? Oh, this is a sick joke. I don't even want to know. Gross. Stump jokes are never funny. <laughs> okay, let's try another one. Okay, let me try another joke. <sighs> okay. Pine tree, lumberjacks. He won't like that. Um, what about the penguins? Do you know why penguins don't have Christmas trees? Oh, I don't know. Maybe because they don't believe in tree murder? Never mind. <laughs> that doesn't work. Okay, let me try another joke. <sighs> okay. Let's ask him about the no oaks policy. Did you hear the local coffee shop has a no oaks policy? What? In this day and age? Come on, those are stupid answers. Coffee. The coffee there is terrible. How is that relevant? It's not relevant. Just, you know, humorous. Is it? No. Okay, let me try another joke. <sighs> okay. Okay, the one about the lumberjacks. How many lumberjacks does it take to change a light bulb? Two. One to murder a tree to make a ladder, the other to change the light bulb. Well, that's a reasonable number, actually. He already knew that one. Okay, let me try another joke. <sighs> okay. I didn't ask him about the old Pete the pine tree yet. Say. Do you know old Pete the pine tree? Piney Pete down the hill? Sure. Good friend of mine. Nuts. I already had wood for brains. I already threw the clock out a window. Let's go with the nuts. I heard he had one too many nuts. Hey, keep it clean. There are saplings around here. I, d I didn't mean... Sorry. 
<laughs> I've gotten close, I think. Okay, let me try another joke. <sighs> okay. Um, let's go once more with the, the pine tree. Say. And now... I heard he had wood for brains. I heard he had wood for brains. What's wrong with wood for brains? I have wood for brains. Uh, that's the joke. He's really smart. Oh. Huh. Not very funny. Well, that didn't work either. Okay, let me try another... What is next? President of the chipmunks? No, 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 that, that, that doesn't do it. Let's ask him again about the old Pete. Say. Let's go with this. Well, I hear he got in some really big trouble. Oh no, what for? Now we're going somewhere. No, that's just obvious. That's stupid. Naughty, could be. Cheated on his sap tax, that's interesting. Cheated on his sap tax? Who doesn't? Did he do it in a funny way or something? Uh, not really. So, where's the joke? I'm still working on that one. Let's try it again. Say. So... Well. And now let's say the naughty joke. It seems he was being... really naughty. Oh. Oh! <laughs> naughty! <laughs> you get a line and I'll get a pole. We'll go down to the crawdad hole. Yikes! How's that thing talking? Oh, that's creepy. <laughs> so we finally made the correct joke. Now pick up the fish. Okay, just stay quiet, you. Honey! Sugar pa baby mine. Shh. And what can I do with that? It seems like so much work to teach a fish to sing. I wonder why they didn't teach it a second song. Hey everybody, this round's on me. Can I combine it with something? I don't think he'd wake up. Not even for an awesome fish. I don't see what good my fish could do there. Fish, have you seen this girl? This isn't a trick. I'm really singing. Trout's on her. I need to stop talking to this fish. Can I hook it? This fish has already been caught. It doesn't need to be rehooked. I don't see what good my fish could do there. Hey fish, can you make heads or tails of this schematic? This isn't a trick. I'm really singing. Trout's on her. Well, that's more than I got out of it. No, nope, can do nothing with it yet. Let's talk to the tree one more time. Tree. Human. <laughs> I can ask about old Pete. So there really is an old Pete the pine tree? Nah, I was just being a good sport. Truth be told, I needed a laugh. I gotta make like a leaf and leave. <laughs> okay, kid. <laughs> okay, so we'll figure out next time what to do with the fish. Thank you for watching.